room. I was really. Hold on, Melissa. Not, okay, there she goes. All right. I was really anticipating this moon because things were full on. But uh, this moon, uh, because so many other cultures are moving on the lunar calendar, soon R Ramadan begins. And then uh, Diwali starts tomorrow, the nine nights of, of Durga. So these massive, beautiful celebrations are about to begin. And of course, I'm going to offer a Diwali Yantra coloring class on Saturday, you're all invited. But it's such a great opportunity to fast and remember and just call in the goddess. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so grateful that everyone here shows up in these big little ways. If you guys want to come to the class, it's Saturday 1 Eastern Standard Time. What is that for you? It's 10. Can you link, if you would, Melissa, share it in the chat so people can join. I would love to join. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. And I'll be honest, I didn't know that about those two starting right now as well. Oh, Ramadan. Yeah, they start tomorrow. They're huge, yeah. very, very important celebrations. Yeah. Something good to know. Well, and what we've just come, you know, with, with the other religious holidays of Easter and Passover. I know, I know. And, and I'm sure. <laughs> Passover, and Passover yeah. beautiful celebrations. Yeah. That's really important. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Here's the link. So, you if you'd like, okay, the order that I'd like for us to go through with the oils, if you want to get them out in front of you, uh, lavender, magnolia, bergamot, or bergamot, wild orange, lemon, and rosemary and then <laughs> i've thrown in myrrh and melissa for good measure just on the spot so i always suggest you throw in your own little things like that too um okay so for the melissa let's just take a moment and um let's just take a drop on I'd like for us to use our left hand mostly for this practice today um, when we're anointing with the body and feel free to use both but I'm working more with my left hand just a little bit so the middle finger of our left hands let's just take one finger of lavender and just place it to the center of our forehead and with your right hand feel free to just either touch the earth or your legs or your feet, wherever you're sitting comfortably. And just take a moment here with the lavender at your third eye in the center of your forehead and maybe even massage. And feel free to use all the fingers too, even caressing the forehead and the eyebrows and smoothing out some of the wrinkles or any tension you might be having. And with your right hand, just feeling that base of the body and the ground below you that you're connected to. And just consider for a moment here as we begin what your intention is for this new moon if you've already been in this practice for a while and your personal practice is guiding you. Just becoming clear. Lavender helping to support the communication that we're receiving here in our intu intuition. Just take a few more breaths here.
Feel the breath coming into the whole body. And when you're ready, just bring the hand down from the forehead. You can open your eyes when you're ready. And then please just get your magnolia. So I always invite you to just inhale the oil first and receive the scent. If you're not familiar with magnolia, it is the oil of compassion. Its qualities are those of being opening and resplendent and heavenly, helping us move from feelings of disturbed or feeling stirred up to feeling confident. So placing this, if you'd like, both over the heart and also a point known as spleen six. And this point is four fingers above your ankle bone, right in the center of your leg. So I'm going to show you. Here we go. <laughs> so right here, if I take four fingers, I'm coming right here to this point. Okay. So again, I want us to just place the magnolia here on spleen six and also on the heart. And one hand on the heart then and one hand on that point on the ankles of either foot that you feel called to. Again, I'm working more with the left side of my body right now. The left side being our yin side or our receiving side. The right side being the yang side, the side we give our energy to others with. So allowing yourself, just acknowledge where you need support, letting the two hands rest on these places and just breathing again for a few long breaths with the whole body. Magnolia is a powerful connector of both heaven and earth, bringing both of these qualities together with compassion for their differences and how they empower each other. The wisdom of Magnolia coming into our hearts and our roots. And when you're ready, just opening your eyes. And now, let's please take Bergamo. And again, with a finger, I'm using my middle left one again, 
placing one finger there and then just, or sorry, uh, one drop there and then the finger on the belly button and just massaging all the way around the belly button, maybe even all the way around the whole abdomen from the stomach through the low belly. And then when you're ready, just letting the finger that you choose come to rest right at the center of the belly button. Maybe the other hand comes to hold your womb space or anywhere that you feel called. Allow the shoulders to relax and allow the qualities of Bergamot of self-compassion, self-acceptance. Let these come through in this place where you were created. Take several more breaths here. Acknowledging your connections and your inherent worthiness, and your right to life. and your confidence in your own beauty and power. And when you're ready, open your eyes. <laughs> We're only halfway there. Okay, take wild orange and I want you to please put a drop under your tongue. So if you prefer to put it in a glass of water, make sure it's glass, but please do uh, allow for the, um, for just one drop to come under the tongue. Let's just sit quietly for a moment, however you're comfortable. And just allow the wisdom of wild orange to fully come into you, whatever your experience here is. Just allowing your breath to fully receive with each inhale opening through the heart and the front of the body softening and the shoulders relaxing, the whole face and the jaw relaxing. Feel the whole back of the body, the strength of the spine. Your entire central nervous system. Each finger, each toe. Maybe bring the hands to the heart. Acknowledging the center, Hridaya. Feel 
feeling all of the prayers that you have being blessed with the abundance of support that you need and that everyone needs and also already has. It's all here already. And when you're ready, open your eyes. And the last two oils we're gonna to use together. So in one hand, please place a drop of lemon. And then in the other hand, place a drop of rosemary. Lemon being for focus, rosemary being for knowledge and transition. And I invite you to just inhale each individually first. Just appreciating the uniqueness of each one without rushing, taking your time. As Elena was just talking about the sacredness of each moment And when you're ready, maybe rubbing the hands and inhaling them together. And then maybe just rubbing a little bit under the nose, leaving just a little bit of the aroma there. And then sweeping the arms and the hands all around you and just cleansing your space and waking up your body. Taking a little movement. And when you're ready, let's just come back together here and share about how this last cycle has been for us. And let's share about what's happening for us now, what we're calling in. I will share a little piece of astrology from Gigi here, who said, this is from a man named uh, John Wadsworth. And he says, Aries, is in the sign where we begin again, turn over a new leaf, engage with what is in front of us and appreciate it with new eyes as if for the first time. It marks in essence a spiritual rebirth, the resurrection of the spirits and the opportunity to look afresh at who we are and what our lives mean. It enrolls our courage and our will to break out of old patterns and break through with new perspectives and a new vision. It is a time to commit to personal goals and seize the impulse to embark upon new enterprises and endeavors. As you will see from the chart below, there is a big lineup of planets in Aries with the signs ruler Mars forming a creative and harmonious sextile aspect to the sun and moon from its own position in Gemini. A further sextile is made with Jupiter in Aquarius. This all feels very dynamic and full of creative potential, suitable to meet the burst of springtime energy that Aries represents. The sun and moon are also in, a, in an applying conjunction with Venus, who herself forms an exact square aspect with Pluto today. So we are inspired and motivated by love, but may also feel the urgency of change, deep and powerful change. And there is likely grief attached to having to let go of people and situations that served us in the past and to close bonds of love and friendship that may be lost to us now if they cannot survive the transition. Over this new moon, ask yourself, what am I truly passionate about? What is burning in me? What impulse 
am I seized by right now? Is there a new opportunity that is calling me to action? And am I willing to take risk now in order to sow the seed of my soul's intention? So with that, I'm gonna stop our recording. So blessings to anyone who watches this later.